Okay, can that be recorded? Um, so YouTube, when you're live, automatically records and puts it on the channel. Oh okay. yeah, so, yep, you're right, because I've got a bunch out there to delete right now. Yeah, so if we go out to the YouTube channel, so let's do that, we're locked into that account. Yeah, perfect. So here's the other um, way to share it, because sharing it just uh, sometimes is a little bit, what do we, how do we get the teachers to have it? So out here, um, when we go to our YouTube video manager, or whatever we call it, studio, I think it's called. Yep. Um, that's where they'll show up. But to be, be cheat, to cheat it, um, I've got a channel ID right here, right? And what I can do is the channel. When I go to that channel, it has a live now automatically. Well, I'm even going to go one step further. Um, so on our district website, we use the same idea for our live stream channel. So up here under About Us, we have a live stream channel. And we have an embedded live stream mm -hmm. or watch it on YouTube. And so that format is the channel's URL slash live or the embedded uh, right. code is something similar. Well, if I take this channel And just put that link. This link is what I would share to teachers or on the website. Right. So now, when you would start, when you hit go live with your new event, they wouldn't have to have a different link every day. They would just go to that same link every yeah. day and yeah. pop up. Yeah. And now, when it's done recording, so let's say we finish the session. Well, that looks like my link I already got. This one here. Because it's the channel's live video versus the event. That might be what you have. This, yeah, this is this is this is my link. Okay, so then the link stays the same for everybody yeah. every day. Yeah. Um, so then on the uh, you end the stream, 